Okay, so I do have them all attached now to the proper, uh, again, uh, torque specification uh, being 180 to 190 inch pounds. And now I'm going to take this uh, crankcase seal strip and I'm going to put it into this groove here. And then I'm as and then I've got this uh, ultra black uh, RTV gasket maker, and I'm going to put that along in the bead right, right around. Um, just lightly coat it on either side of this uh, strip as after I cut it in there. So you can see we've run this bead along each side on top of that uh, that seal, and now I'll just bring this. This is the upper part, and I'm going to clean this all with a solvent each. Uh, each portion here that goes around the, the bearings and then at the top in the bore here I'm going to put Loctite and then we're going to lower this down onto the uh, main uh, crankshaft assembly. Okay, so Okay, we got the Loctite on. We're just going to put it exactly in. Now, um, there's a note here. If you look right under Randy's hand here, you'll see there's this peg right here. And I'm going to fit it. goes into this hole here. And we're going to make sure that that goes in right. And as well, there's one on the bottom half as well. You can see it down down here. There's, the, there's one here as well. So we're going to make sure that they slide into their position. So Randy, you're going to slide that into that hole. I'm going to lower mine into the hole. So let's get nice and low and put it in is yours in place. Great. Okay, now let's just ease it down gently together. Okay, so we've got that in position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a sealant again on the threads of the screws and studs that attach this crankcase that both the halves together. And I'm going to put them to uh, like around 200, uh, 270 inch pounds is how tight each of these uh, go in so that's uh that is what's going to happen next okay so we did make one mistake i made a mistake of uh when we were putting the pistons all together uh, attaching the uh, connecting rods i had the um the motor and i'll just readjust my camera here oops i had the motor sitting flush on the table and actually that when I first set the um, the crankshaft uh, the, the connecting rods weren't attached so it was able to flush but when I attached I was twisting the uh, the crankshaft to put the pistons in uh, the connecting rods on the crankshaft lifted up because as the I turned it the pistons were hitting the bottom of the surface of the table and lifting it so now I've gone and elevated the motor off because what it happened was this the crankshaft lifted without me paying attention and so when I went to seat this on here um, it didn't seat properly because this wasn't sitting in its hole so I had to reseat this in um, the crankshaft in place again and now it's unfortunately it's it's going to be messy here so but we'll just have to worry about that and and uh, hopefully uh, have no repercussions out of that but again now I've elevated it so we were able to seat it properly and now we'll go ahead and put this on and uh, again torque it torque it on with the specified amounts okay I just wanted to note that uh, I've got these down here I you can't see them but I've in the dark here in the shadow basically I've got all these screws set to, to be tightened down here um, and I did use, um, as I did, it said to use a sealant, so I've gone and I just kind of tipped each of them with the ultra black again just uh, to seal them in there nicely. And when I did take this apart originally, I did actually put them into the order I took them out and tape, ran them on a piece of a painter's tape into that order. Because some, there were a couple there, like uh, this one actually on this end way over here, I, it's out of the side of the motor here, but... The top one actually came from this side where these came from that and there was one also in the middle that was longer than the others. So I taped them in the specific order and met, and wrote on that tape, double uh, taped on both sides and then wrote on that tape what side I got those bolts off of. And so that's a good practice there just to uh, keep track because you never know when you take a motor apart uh, 
what uh, you're gonna you know you're gonna find and what you're gonna need to know. Another good thing, of course, is I took a whole bunch of pictures as I took the motor apart with my smartphone. So have your smartphone out, and as you discover things, just take crack a picture of it. So when you're putting the motor back together, you go, oh yeah, I can look back at those pictures and see how it's done. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and install my spacer plate here, and uh, that's the next thing I've got on the agenda. This is actually uh, going to go in on here and on the bottom here before I... And you want to do that before you attach it here because there's these four bolts uh, that actually drop into these holes here on the this one, this one, this one, and this one. The rest of them you can actually attach from, from underneath the motor, but those ones attach and they're going to be buried inside. So we have to put the spacer plate on before we lower the power head onto the leg so that's what I'm about to do so I'm just fitting my gasket on here I bought and uh, um, I should mention that all my surfaces you notice I, I cleaned them up pretty good and you're going how, how the heck did you do that and I had a friend that had this um, this little round attachment uh, that had uh, kind of like Teflon brushes or not Teflon, it almost looked like a hard uh, plastic anyways, but it spun on his um, pneumatic gun and it spun at a high RPM. It's plastic and that all those little fingers was what uh, cleared off, cleaned off all my surfaces for my gaskets on, including um, in the crank uh, case and stuff like that and all the surfaces for the cylinder head, everything I used that and it uh, saved a lot of time. And I uh, definitely suggest that um, hopefully somebody at a power air, air um, anyways, a pneumatic store would uh, know what I'm talking about. But for cleaning off gasket surfaces, it's a uh, air attachment. Again, it's like a, a bunch of plastic bristles in a, on a circle about that size that you attach onto a, at a high, spin at a high RPM air tool. So I put these four bolts on, it says they're 3.8s, tighten them to 270 inch pounds, so that's what I did, and uh, and um, then I've got, uh, I'm going to put the front can crank case uh, covers uh, bolts on. I wanted you to note that when I did that, um, I wrote like here, it says top, I, I taped these two together top because they're going to go up and up here and go in the top ones. They were a different length than these, the middle ones, so I did mark those with tape. So make sure when you take everything apart. I wish that I'd taken more pictures when I took my motor apart and labeled even more so. And here I've got the, the lower ones which are different sizes as well. So each one of these is a different size. Um, but again, I labeled them all so I know that I'm putting them in the right hole. So I'm going to tighten those up now. So one thing you want to do a tidier job of uh, than I did was when I put that uh, sealant in between the two uh, crankcase covers. I actually um, I got some that squeezed out into these um, these holes where the bolts, the upper bolts, go in. And each of these these ones aren't too bad because you can push them right through it. Actually, you can it'll come out here on the bottom. But this these ones. It doesn't come out on the bottom, it just goes into the motor, into the uh, lower crankcase. So I've got to uh, carefully dig the sealant uh, silicon -y stuff out of this, out of these two holes. The rest of them were fine, but uh, I still had to push them through, so just to be aware of that. Actually, here you'll note that even, even the uh, top two bolts here if I have a different height. Look at that, I'll put my screwdriver in there and set it with my finger put it in here and see how it's shallower there and sure enough if you look at the two top bolts they're different heights so just to be aware of that don't just don't throw them in there keep them all in order all right I'm not gonna forget these ratchet uh, these sockets I'm um, sorry hex screws they're gonna go into these little holes inside each of these uh, parts here that also hold the um, the uh, crankcase cover together in addition to the ones that I just put on the exterior. Alright, well before I get this thing much heavier, I think I'm going to actually just take it and drop it onto the uh, the leg of the boat now. <clears throat> and uh, of course before I do that I have to take this uh, exhaust shaft here, for lack of a better word, you want to call it a tube, I don't care. 
Anyways, it's these four bolts hold that on there and I've got to screw that on now before I pick it up and drop it in. And that's going to be a heck of a job because I'm not really that strong. Alright, before I put that exhaust shaft on, I just uh, put uh, some ultra black sealant on, uh, on the two joining parts there before I throw it in there.